This is the Word Cloud template at SharePoint-Boards.com. Many of you will be familiar with this. Uh, this is a fun way to visually show a pattern of words. Um, this could be a collection of things that people might vote on or a quote or something like that. And this automatically compiles that and it will show you the words in an interesting pattern. And the words that are repeated most often are shown larger. So this will let you do that within SharePoint. When you first get into the tool, you can see some example text. You can replace that with your own if you want to see um, something else in there. And then also you should browse the different theme options just to come up with some ideas. So as you can tell, you can adjust things like the font size, the colors, the background, um, and you can um, make some tweaks. There's some fine tuning you can do as far as how much the words can rotate. Um, the minimum word, maybe you don't want common words like a uh, or of or the, things like that. The minimum word length can adjust that. You can adjust the word case um, to control the letters and then all the other regular settings with colors are available as well. In order to use this template, it's very straightforward. You need to create a list with just two fields, the title field, which is in every SharePoint list by default. And then you just need to create one additional field called words, W-O-R-D-S. That should be a multi-line plain text field, not rich text. And that is the field from which it's gonna derive what's needed to uh, draw this diagram. So I've got my SharePoint list already set up. And just as an example, I put in the Gettysburg address. So I put that in for the title and then I have my multi-line text where I simply um, enter that information. And that is all that I need in order to do this. So let's go ahead and apply a template and check it out and see what this looks like. So um, I'm going to go ahead and go with these default settings. So I just click on copy template and follow the directions in the pop-up window. Click OK. And this is a view template. So I need to go to the view selector and then click on format current view and then click on advanced mode that point you just paste in your template and save and there it's going to render the image now once you first put that in your there you're probably going to want to make some tweaks to that so you can make little adjustments to the background color the size um, whatever it is that you want to adjust about that appearance you can of course fine-tune that with the settings Maybe, for example, I want to um, try it out with a different background color. So maybe I'll go with a light green background color. And then uh, maybe for the word case, I don't want to use that um, all uppercase. So I can switch that to none. And then, um, you know, once I'm ready, I can go ahead and just copy the template again and just reapply it, which is simple. I just once again paste and hit save and there um, I've got a slightly different look so you can just adjust that to whatever your own tastes are. Um, in terms of thinking of ways that you would use this a common exercise would be to uh, take a survey. Uh, for example if you had a, a team of people you could get them to say you know give me a list of your um, you know top five um, interests in a particular subject or give me a list of the uh, top people or what are adjectives used to describe them. So you can pull people for that, then compile the results into your list. And then um, you just put that all in here and this diagram would be automatically created for you. And then from there, you can just use the list view web part and you could surface this as a web part on a, a page for, for people to look at. So it's a nice, fun and interesting way to liven up your SharePoint environment a little bit. Um, very easy to use. You only just need to add that one multi-line text field. 
This template's available at SharePointDashboards.com. If you don't already have a subscription, you can get signed up here. There is a free sign up, which does include 20 free templates. And then if you um, end up wanting to go on and take advantage of all the templates, you can sign up for the uh, subscription to get access to all of those. I hope you found this interesting and I hope you can see a good case where you can make something interesting in your SharePoint environment for your users and good luck.